All right, good morning, everybody. We're going to do the activity together that we had done in um, first hour. And so what you're gonna do is watch this activity and just record things as we go. This is the paper that goes with this, and this should be posted on the Monday assignment. Um, so Monday, March 1st on the weekly overview. So there you go. All right, so time to foam. That's what we're looking at. Today, before we got started, we talked about what a catalyst is in science. And a catalyst, if you look up the definition, it's just anything that will lower the activation energy required in a reaction. Or in other words, it's a something that's done or added to an experiment to get it to go quicker. Um, so just keep that in mind today and, and see if you can figure out what's going on. If you look at your time to foam, it will tell you in the activity that the kids were supposed to get about two milliliters. This is a little bit more two milliliters of 3% hydrogen peroxide and 6%. Um, so 3% hydrogen peroxide, 6% hydrogen peroxide. Then the students were told to add in, um, according to the instructions, about six drops of soap, like detergent one, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't have to be super perfect here. We're gonna go ahead and do that to both. One, two, three, four, five, six-ish, right? Okay, then we're gonna take, um, and it says according to that step, you're gonna take that and stir it up really well. Okay. I'm going to try to get that to stir. So right now what we've got in there is hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to wash this off really quick before I stir my other one. Um, I've got soap and I've got hydrogen peroxide in there. Okay, so I've washed off my stirring stick, my stirring rod, and I'm going to start to stir this other one. This is the 3% hydrogen peroxide solution with my six drops of soap. Well, that's good enough. All right, I'm gonna give that a little rinse there. Okay, then the next thing it says is in the, in the instructions, what they were looking at this morning is they were supposed to add in some potassium iodide, okay, which is this right here. So we're gonna take potassium iodide and we're gonna add 10 drops to the 3%. So I'm gonna move, move my camera here so maybe you can see what's going on. Okay, so this is the 3% right here. And I'm going to add 10 drops of the sodium iodide to this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ish. Okay. And it does say in there to give that a little stir, stir briefly. So I'm just going to start to stir that up. And so already, what can you tell is starting to happen? Can you see anything there? Hopefully, you should be able to see it starting to foam just a little bit. It's starting to react way more than anything that was going on before. Okay. And it does say, after you start to fill the sides of the test tube, and I can tell you, it still feels pretty cool to the touch, just feels like room temperature. Okay. And it also says, measure the time it takes for the bubbles to reach the top. Now I forgot to start my timer, but I'm gonna go ahead and start it now. Okay, starting my timer. And we're just gonna let that run for a little while.
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let this keep going. It's been about a minute. Um, and you can tell that it, it is foaming. You can see that it's reacting. It's bubbling. While this is running, I'm going to go ahead and start my second. This is my 6% hydrogen peroxide solution. And I'm going to add in my potassium iodide. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10-ish. Okay. can't remember if I rinse this off or not. Give that a quick rinse. Okay, I'm going to give this a little stir. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit lap. We'll start that timer. Okay. I'm going to feel that. This is the first one. This is the 3%. This one is the six percent. So can you see the difference? This one is slightly warmer than this one is. This one is getting a little bit warm. This one is, well, now it's getting significantly warmer. I'm gonna go ahead and set that in there just because I don't want to make a mess all over myself. I'll let that run for just a minute. Okay, and by the way, on my lap two here, I'm going to go ahead and stop lap two because it was already at the top. So that reached the top within less than a minute. On this one, still not at the top, I'm, and I'm going to just let it continue to run here. But we're still not at the top, okay, and we're, and we're looking at greater than two and a half minutes at this point, okay. So this one is continuing to react. This was the 6%. This one right here was the 3%. So what you could record when it's saying time for a reaction to complete under the 3%, 3% is greater than two and a half minutes. So more than two and a half minutes. The 6% was less than one minute. And if you wanted to do this experiment again, if we wanted to, we could get a lot more specific with the time if we wanted to and really check on since this was a greater concentration how much faster was it was it exactly twice as fast since it was two times more concentrated than this one was okay but the temperature change again like we could feel that that is significantly warmer than this one is this one got a little bit warmer the six percent is very very warm Okay. And it's still reacting like crazy. All right. So you're just going to go ahead and answer the last three questions under observations now that we've done that experiment. Okay. Um, and this is what you're going to get turned in for today. All right. And be thinking about out of all these chemicals here. So we started with hydrogen peroxide and dish soap. And then we added in some potassium iodide. Which one do you think was the catalyst in the reaction? Okay, which one do you think was the catalyst? Uh, that's that's it. That's what you're going to think about this week, and uh, we'll, we'll do some more with chemical equilibrium as we go. I hope you have a great week.